This is the best gunpowder farm for Minecraft Bedrock, and as always, there will be a world download in the description. Alright, the first thing you need to do is find yourself a witch hut, and the easiest way to do that is by going to chunkbase.com. I will leave it linked in the description, and what you're going to do is type in your seed, and then you'll find a witch hut. After doing that, we're going to go ahead and kill off this witch right here. That way he's not disturbing us, and we're also going to go ahead and unfortunately have to kill his black cat as well. After doing that, we're going to come inside of the witch hut, and we're going to place down a block right here in the center of this 3x3 of open space, or one block away from the crafting table. After doing that, mine out these three blocks in the corner, place down some building blocks here, and then we're going to go ahead and tear down the entire witch hut. After tearing down the witch hut, you should be left with something that looks like this. Now what we're going to do is come under here, complete the 2x2 two two square, and then we're going to place down a glass block above this block. Go ahead and break this block now, and then we're going to grab our blocks again, and just wrap around our 2x2 two two to make it into a 4x4, four four, like this. Just to make the process of building this a little simpler, clear out a 6x6x2 six by six by block hole underneath of the farm, like I have here, and then we can continue building. Next, you want to determine where you want all of your drops to end up. So I want all of the drops to end up at this side of the farm. So I'm going to count over one block here. So one, and then on this block below it, I'm going to place down a piston. So make sure that is lined up, and that is going to be the start of our trident killer. So in an alternating pattern, we're going to place down a piston here, here, and here, leaving us with a two by two in the center right here. And since I wanted this to be the front of the farm, we're going to go ahead and dig out this block right here, and this is going to be where the storage system is. From this hole, we're going to dig down two more blocks like so, run a hopper into that block right there, and then we're going to set down a rail on that hopper, and then a minecart hopper over top of that rail. We're going to come on this side of the piston now, dig out these two blocks right here, and create a staircase down until we're in this area. So this is going to be where we place down our chest, so place down a chest right there, and a chest on the floor just like that. Go ahead and place down an upside down stair above the chest, that way you can open it, and this is again where all of the drops are going to end up. We're now going to place down a block right here, and a block right here just to make it flush, and then we're going to come up here, break these three blocks, replace them with our building blocks, or just leave them as is, and then we're going to continue with the trident killer. Grab your observers now, and we're going to place down an observer looking at the piston, so an observer facing the piston in the corner of the farm. We're then going to do this for every single one of these pistons, going around in a circle like this. So you should have observers looking at the pistons. From there, we're going to grab our observers again, and place down an observer that is looking at that observer. So that way, this piston is going to update, that observer is going to see it, this observer is going to see that this observer updated, which is going to make this piston fire, which is going to create a giant clock going all the way around. So let's do it for the rest of the farm here now, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and get it started by placing down a lever on this piston, push it on, you're going to see it does a clock, and when we go ahead and turn the lever off, it's going to just continuously cycle. We can now grab a trident and throw it inside of the chamber. Okay, so again, grab your trident, go ahead and throw it at one of those piston faces like that. And then we're going to grab our blocks and we're just going to fill in the rest of this ring just like so. After doing that, we can go ahead and break this lever temporarily, place down a bunch of blocks going all the way around here just like this. And this is going to make it so that no light is inside of the actual chamber. And then we're going to go ahead and place down the lever on this block right here, turn it on, and that is basically doing the exact same thing that it did earlier. So if we go ahead and take a look in here, you're going to see that that piston is stuck and it's not going on. But if we flip the lever, it's going to continue to push the trident around. Speaking of breaking these blocks, we're going to go ahead and break these other two blocks here, leaving just the block with the glass above it, and this is going to be the spawn spot for all of the witches. Next, you want to grab your blocks, place down two blocks right here so that we're at the height of the glass block, and we're just going to continue around like so, going all the way around the farm to fully encase this area. After doing that, we're going to grab our blocks again, create a four platform up here, a two by two, and then it's going to make it so it is completely dark in there. And we don't want anything spawning on top, so we're just going to grab some leaves and throw down some leaves on the top here, covering this entire 4x4 section. We're going to grab our scaffolding now, and we're going to place down three scaffolding, one, two, three, and that is going to bring us to line with where the witch is spawning, 
which was going to make us place down 24 more scaffolding going right the way up. So one, two, three, and so on. I've just realized it might be a little bit difficult to tell whether the farm is on or off, seeing as we can't see inside of the farm. So I've gone ahead and thrown down this silly little sign that says whether it's off or on. So right now it's off, now it's on, off, on, all that fun stuff. If you don't have the resources for a redstone lamp, this will work. But if you do have a redstone lamp, just break this sign, place down a redstone lamp, and you know that the farm is currently off if the light is on. And if it is off, then the light is going to be, or if it's on, then the light is going to be off. It's backwards. So it's opposite. Light on, this means the farm's off. Light off, then it's on. Hopefully that made sense. The last thing that we have to do is build our AFK room. So right up here on the 24th piece of scaffolding, or I guess the 27th piece, we're going to go ahead and build out a little 3x3 platform with that scaffolding in the center there. We're then going to build up three blocks, so one, two, three, and just fill in all of these walls just like this, going all the way up. And then at the top here, we're going to throw in a barrel just so you can empty out your inventory for a worst case scenario. You don't want to be losing your netherite armor and all of that fun stuff. So just go ahead and dump it all in here. But that is going to be it for building the farm. I'm just going to show you how to use it real quick and then we're done. Okay, so currently the trident killer is off because the redstone lamp is on, meaning that we're going to flip this lever and that is going to mean that the trident killer is now on and this farm is active. As you can see, we already have some drops flowing in just because I was way up here, and these are going to be a lot of witch parts, but of course, gunpowder is going to be a drop. This thing is actually about as efficient, if not more efficient, than most creeper farms. This thing will get you about eight stacks of gunpowder per hour while you're holding a looting three swords. That is super awesome. This is going to give you plenty of fireworks. But yeah, as you can see, this thing's working well. We're just going to go up here AFK for like 10 minutes. I'll go ahead and get a looting three sword and we can check out the rates. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I set a timer on my phone. So let's go down and check our rates here. And since I'm in creative mode, I'm just going to fall down here. And actually, if you want to just create a little bit of a water pile here, that might be a good idea as well. So as you can see, we got about a stack, just over a stack of gunpowder and sugar and glowstone sticks, spider eyes, instant health potions, empty bottles, and redstone dust. So as you can see, quite a healthy amount of drops here. And that's the awesome thing about witch hut farms is that you get a bunch of other drops and you get plenty of gunpowder. So that would mean that we have got about six stacks of gunpowder an hour, a little bit over there. So uh, yeah, this thing is incredibly efficient. It's so simple, way easier to build than a creeper farm and it makes a ton of gunpowder and it's actually reliable because this is literally just a spawning mechanic. It's not like you're trying to spawn things in the dark and have them walk off a cliff. It's literally just as soon as a witch spawns, it gets immediately killed. It's super awesome and super easy. So again, there is a world download in the description if you want to download this world. All right, that is going to do it for today's video. As I said earlier, this world will be down in the description available for download. And if you haven't already, go and check out my second channel. It'll be linked in the description and it'll be up on screen in a minute here. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I apologize for my voice. I had a couple voice cracks here and there. I am currently getting over a sickness. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's getting better. So that's a good thing. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. My name is 1UpMC, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.